Hockey 605, we're here with Coach Lucas Deutsch of the Watertown Lakers. Your guys just had a goal fest. They did. It was a pretty, pretty offensive-minded game. Yeah, it was. Um, a lot of shots on goal and a lot of them hit in the back of the net. Yeah, it was, it was pretty good to see some guys hadn't got some goals this year and a couple of them got them today, so it was fun. Well, that's a good way for them to end the season. Um, who are some of the players throughout the season that have really stood out for you, Coach? Stood out a lot. Spencer Riddle, um, Joe Foley back there on defense, Jason Good. Um, all around we have two solid lines of guys and three, I mean, four lines I run pretty much all the time. And it's, it's been fun. They're, they all stand out to me, so it's tough to pick them out. Well, our, our first um, Hockey 605 game was your game here against Brookings, uh, Valentine's weekend. That was a heck of a game, and you introduced us to the sport very well. Yeah, that was that was a fun night of hockey. Uh, I wish we could have won that one. That one, that would have been nice. But uh, otherwise, it was real fun. Uh, it was a good close game, and it's you taught us right then and there that hockey is an easy game to fall in love with. It is. I've been around a long time already, and. Hope to be here a long time yet. So. so how old were you when you fell in love with the game? I was about eight, nine when I started playing. So it's been 20 years now. So. And now you're giving back to the game by coaching. Um, do you do any refing too? No, I don't do any refing. Just coach. I, that takes up most of my time. So. Well, a lot of coaches will tell you that that's like opposites. You can't be a coach and a ref. No, you really can't. <laughs> uh, you can you can be friends with them, but that's about it. <laughs> so yeah. yeah. You've got to keep a little distance in case you have to chastise them somewhere along the way. Yeah, that usually happens sometime along the line, but uh, try to keep that to a minimum. Yeah. So. so what's your favorite part about coaching? Uh, favorite part would be. I guess being out there at practice with those guys every day, just having fun with them. I watched them make those plays happen out here on the ice during the game. It's pretty cool. You know, it surprises me in talking with hockey players. Um, unlike a lot of sports, most sports they tell you their favorite part about playing is scoring goals and winning games. But a lot of hockey players will tell you that one of their favorite parts of the whole game is, is practice. Yeah, I, I would have to agree. When I was a player, practice was fun. Uh, game time, you learn a lot in game time more than you think you do. but. Practice is always fun. I try to keep it that way. Otherwise, they get so the season gets so long and it gets drawn out. And the more fun you can have in practice, the more fun they have out here during a game too. So. Well, it seems like coaches of other sports could take a lesson from hockey coaches um, because if you're not practicing and enjoying practice, you're not going to be able to apply it in the game. Yeah, sometimes it, it seems that way. I mean, I try to not chastise any coaches because it's it's a tough job. It doesn't matter what sport you coach, but yeah, hockey is is a pretty disciplined sport, and you got to have fun because the seasons are long and. Just all around, it's a good deal. Yeah. Well, Coach, we appreciate you taking some time with us at Hockey 605 again. Um, enjoyed the game, and good luck tomorrow. Sounds good. Thank you.